Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a very hard video for me to do. Um, before we get right into it, guys, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Comment, like, and subscribe. Don't forget to turn on your post notifications so you don't miss any more of my video. Today we're going to be doing a story time when um, someone tried to snatch my oldest daughter at Walmart. Um, this happened a couple weeks ago. This happened literally a week before Valentine's Day. And I remember it a clear as day because um, I said I was going to go to the store to pick up some things that I was missing for Valentine's, for the classroom, or for the teachers, and a couple things that I needed here for the house that I was missing that I also needed. So, just to start on the video, it was just me, the three kids, and I was alone. Um, I've always heard stories of people saying that, you know, there has been something happened around BJ's on 57th and at Target that there was an attempt that somebody was trying to steal someone's children and they actually rode in the back of her car 2G and 1B and meaning the 2G is two girls, one boy. So they already knew what, who she was and you know, who she was with. And honestly, like, I'm not saying that that was on my car, but I'm just explaining to you guys what I've seen around the same area, which Walmart that I go to is the same one on 57. So what happened on the one on 57 was that I'm just in the line of grabbing my toothpaste and I'm parked right in the middle of the lane. And um, Sophia is grabbing one of the toothpaste that she wanted. And I left enough space on this side so anybody that needed to walk through can walk through. So and enough space on this side as well for Sophia. So there was enough space so anybody can walk back and forth. But instead of the lady going through the side that was empty, she decided to go on the other side. And automatically she goes and grabs Sophia by the hand. Like I said, I snatch her by the other arm and I said, yo, what the, are you doing? Like she's like, oh, I'm so sorry. And I was just, and she was like stuttering. I was like, yo, what the fuck are you doing? So I started getting loud and loud. So people started like, you know, coming. Mind you, at this time, there's no cops around me. There's nobody to literally, like, same thing. And there's people just stare. Like, just people love to do it, just stare. And I, I was just so overwhelmed. I was so pissed off till the lady just leaves. Like, I just got my daughter and I leave out of the lane. And I proceed to like grab a hair product. So I said, you know something, this is nothing of it, whatever. Mind you, when I'm in the hair product, the lane is looking, let's say, this way. I was like, you know something, let's go. We already finished and I was already traumatized with what's happening. So I'm leaving to go this way. And the lady is literally looking at purses. And I said, yo, is that the same lady? She doesn't, literally, doesn't even grab a bag. And as, as soon as I walk by her, she starts walking behind me. And I said, are you kidding me right now? Like, that is not shopping. She didn't have a shopping cart or anything like that. Nothing in her hands, but yet you want to pretend that you're looking at a bag. And then you're still literally right next. She was literally maybe like six feet or seven feet from where we were standing. Yo, that just triggered me. And the fact that as soon as I walked right by her, she started walking behind me. So I pretended to go pay. And I was like, let me test something. I went to go pay. And guess what? She goes to pay in the, ne the line next to me. I said, oh, hell no. So I grabbed my child and said, you know something, guys? We forgot something. Let's go check it out. So we went to go walk right back to the lane that we were in. And we went to go to customer service. And I literally, when I tried to come back after I just stood in the customer service, the lady was gone. She was nowhere to be found at all. I was livid i was calling my boyfriend i was freaking out i was texting him i was calling him and i was like no i need to leave the store like i was honestly contemplating of just dropping everything and leaving but then i was like yo i'm gonna have to come back again like the lady's not here like and i told i even sat there and i told my kids look if this lady comes back to us like near us again you guys are gonna scream we need help help us this is my mommy we don't know this lady that's what we literally was telling them so it was the scariest moment of my life i don't wish this upon nobody i think it's you know absurd 
but this is just something I wanted to bring you guys to awareness. Thank God my daughter's okay. I don't longer go to the stores by myself. I go with my boyfriend or I tell my mom to come with me or if not, I leave the kids with my mom and I just go by myself. But that's all I wanted to tell you guys because it's been on my mind for the last couple days and I just wanted to bring awareness guys to be cautious of your surroundings. People might look very nice, but you don't know these people. People are evil. And unfortunately, we live in a world that that is cruel and is the most hateful world. But um, I'm not gonna say I hope you guys like this video because it's not the content that I wanted to put out there, but it's something I wanna get off my chest because it's been literally so heavy and it's been such a traumatic experience that has happened to me this so far this year. But I hope you guys have a great day and please subscribe to my channel and let me know any more videos, ideas you guys would like to see and I'll see you guys next time.